Streamline Back Shop Services presents a demonstration of our latest project. Today we have a Cato SD70M that's fitted with a Loke Sound Select Micro, the 73800 decoder, uh, and a couple of uh, 10 by 18 millimeter oval speakers under the long hood. We've updated all the lighting to LEDs, separated the front and the rear headlights so they operate independent of each other and um, there's the front headlight and then we've also separated the uh, the ditch lights so that they operate independent of each other and we've put those on or, or I should say independent of the headlight and uh, we've tied those into the horn circuit to flash with the the horn for uh, grade crossing protection. The flash rate on this is fully adjustable so uh, as well as the time uh, this is the factory settings but you can set that to uh, just about any flash rate and any length of holdover that you like. The, uh, the locomotive has been uh, updated with the latest firmware release from ESU the uh, this is version 4.3.0 uh, of their software uh, and I don't remember the exact firmware number but this this version implements uh, their re-implements manual notching which is a pretty cool feature from uh, for the Loke sound decoders. Uh, basically what it allows you to do is have complete independent control of the the notching uh, sound effect independent of the speed of the model. So um, and and this uh, this uh, locomotive this project is fitted uh, or, or has the latest sound project from ESU uh, which is actually the SD70M uh, which features a K5LLA horn and the electronic bell and then uh, here's the startup sequence Now the model's sitting completely still and I'm going to go ahead and this is mapped to two function buttons. Uh, you can select whichever two you want. Uh, I'm using 7 and 9 because it's convenient on my controller. If I leave 9 engaged it'll just automatically ramp it up. When I disengage it it'll hold at whatever notch uh, I left at. That's going to be more or less notch 5. I'm going to go ahead and take it all the way up to notch 8 so we can get some power to these traction motors, get this uh, cut of uh, intermodals rolling here. So now I'm in notch 8. I'm going to apply power to the consist. Got it rolling. I'm going to uh, cut back my power a little bit. Turn on my dynamics. Help me get some. Throttle 
all the way back down to zero. Or notch one. Idle. Go ahead and notch back up. So can back it up a little bit. Diesel spooled up. And that is manual notching, a really nice feature of the uh, Loke Sound Decoders. Enjoy it. Come visit us at uh, sbsfordcc.com for all your uh, DCC needs.